Okay. Today's video is going to be about detox. Most addicts and alcoholics are afraid of detox because they're afraid of going through the pain of withdrawals. I'm a recovering addict. I don't want to be in pain going through detox. I don't want to be nauseous. I don't want to have muscle cramps. I don't want to have all of these, these anxiety and all that stuff that's going on as I'm detoxing. I want to detox, get off of this stuff, and get on with my life. The detox protocols that they're using in some treatment centers today, they're using what is called Suboxone. Suboxone is not a six or seven day detox. The pharmaceutical companies know this. So what happens when people, and they sold the detox centers a bill of goods. So what happens is you go to detox, they give you Suboxone, you're fine. You're, you're nice, you don't feel any problems. Everything is wonderful. You're no, you're no problem for the detox center. They love it. Problem is, after you get out of detox, which is probably six or seven days because the insurance companies don't pay for more than that. The first day you get out, you're fine. Second day you get out, you're feeling a, somewhat uncomfortable. The third day you could be in full-blown withdrawals, having severe anxiety and depression. Dr. Kenneth Blum, the geneticist who's found the addiction gene, and myself and Shabon Morse, our clinical researcher, have done research on this. And what we found out is people... Some people are committing suicide because it's such an extreme case from being normalized to all of a sudden, boom, hit with severe anxiety and depression and they don't know how to deal with it. So what is the answer? What do we do? How do we fix it? What, how do we change this? Okay, well, here's what I suggest you do if you're going to detox. Currently, okay, currently, they have methanol detox. They have uh, hydrocodone, which is a short-acting opiate. They have suboxone. I suggest don't take suboxone. I suggest that you go on a short-term methadone, which is six to seven days, it's much easier to come off, but there is another additive to it. You have to understand the process here. What's happening is when you do drugs and alcohol, you artificially stimulate the brain, okay, with dopamine. Dopamine is our feel-good drug, norepinephrine, serotonin, and that's what you do with drugs and alcohol. Now, when you get detox, they titrate you down slowly so you don't have such a severe drop in dopamine or serotonin, and you don't crash and then your body doesn't go through all these changes, all right? Brown, amino acid therapy, and we have tons of research on this, guys. Okay, go look it up on the internet. You can go to my blog, holisticaddictioninfo.com. You can see all the research. That's holisticaddictioninfo.com on what we're talking about. Remember, amino acids are the precursors for neurotransmitters. This is how the brain regulates dopamine. So when you to treatment, remember, detox is detox. Treatment is treatment. You must go to treatment after detox in order to learn how to deal with life on life's terms and how to deal with these cravings. And part of the cravings is from low dopamine. So if you're taking these amino acid compounds and vitamin therapy to help with your nervous system, you will see that your brain will start to normalize. And it takes a little time because your sleep patterns are going to be off for a week to a week and a half to two weeks. You don't want to learn up on more chemicals. What you're doing is you're preventing the brain from working on its own, so it goes to sleep. And now you're relying on another drug. You don't want to do that. So what you want to do is you want to slowly titrate off of everything, get the amino acids, get everything like that. It normalizes brain chemistry, and you're home free. Thank you.